tattoo artist is dead. So that is the recap for the day. Recap time. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Roughneck Actual and you have reached the Roughnecks Ecom channel. If you want to learn how to make money online or offline, then you need to be right here. I'm a seven-figure Amazon seller. I'm also an honorably discharged Air Force veteran. Graduated from Penn State and started a career as a software engineer and leveraged that to build my businesses. If you guys have any questions on how to make money, you're going to find all your answers right here, so stay tuned. So he first rose to prominence. He became known by engineering a famous hoax. In 1835, Barnum launched his career in entertainment by purchasing Joyce Heth, a blind slave touted as being a 161-year-old former nurse of George Washington. Uh, actually, it was, a, it was a great day. We got some, uh, some crepes. Delicious. Uh, yeah, I need mine to go. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, so the sweet one to go and then the... The other one for you. Okay. Yeah. One bite, everybody knows the rules. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, we met those two chicks there we, uh, at the crepe place. Uh, the Israeli chick and the, the French chick. They both smoked. Over here, feel like a rapper. Oh, it's cold. Ooh, it's cold. Mm. Is it all worth it? Oh, hell yeah, it's always worth it. <laughs> you know, it'd be covered. It'd be like Wiz Khalifa, minus all the filler. Yeah, minus the the jailhouse tattoos. I'm not saying he has jailhouse tattoos, but some of them do look like jailhouse tattoos. Did Wiz ever go to jail? No, Wiz never went to jail. He, went to jail. he yeah. has a he has a lot of filler though. Like if you look at his tattoos, yeah. Like he has some okay pieces, but a lot of it is just filler. Like his chest mm -hmm. is essentially just what is it, four one two? Yeah. For for uh for Pittsburgh. Yeah. And then just a bunch of like clouds. It's just a bunch of like cloud filler. He got a lot of this shit done when he was younger too. Yeah, he got yeah. a lot. Because Wiz has been around for a long what, time. Thirty years. But I mean, the same thing here. Like, I got a lot of shit done when I was younger too. Like, I got all the tribal and shit. So like, you yeah. really can't do much after that. Like, look, look at Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne got a lot of his shit done when he was younger. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's not one specific piece. Yeah. Like, there's nothing that kind of brings it together. Mm -hmm. So you just work with what you got at that point. It's like, a, like a, an organic graffiti wall. At that point. Yeah. It, yeah. So essentially, <laughs> like, it's more like an old high school. Day. Yeah. That's been yeah, there we go. Yeah. Over and over again. Let's let's not turn an old <laughs> high school desk into a masterpiece because it's not. Um, yeah, and then you got started on the back piece, and uh, it is it is tender. But you know what? It was not as bad as the stomach section. Like I'm okay with that. Like the stomach hurt a lot. I was not a happy camper whatsoever, and then up here hurt a good bit. We still have like a good three days left of getting some work done, but I mean, I think we got. Got done with this session pretty quickly. You know, Dax is the man. Shit sure hurts. <laughs> I think part of the process is actually going through the pain. You have to earn it. <laughs> my chest and my stomach, I earned that shit. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna get cracking on that. Uh, Rap should be in Miami tomorrow, I think. So, we might link up with him and uh, see his thoughts on, on all the work. You know, since he's getting tatted the fuck up, and he has tattoos everywhere. Hands. Throat, which is gonna be next for me after this back piece. We're coming in for the throat, and neck, and, and the collar up here. Oh yeah, it's going down. I might actually cry on that one. Like I, I, I feel like this is gonna be real tender, and uh, this sweet meat right here is virgin and untouched by tattoo artists. I wouldn't say it's untouched. This is actually like kind of disgusting, Dis disgusting skin, skin here. You know, because that's what you gotta touch during the donut time. But yeah. Sit with us, but she's from Israel, so she had a strong accent. So you sit with us. 
Lola, nice to meet you. 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 Lola, 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 Whenever I come down here, I ship it. Yeah. Well, thank you, man. I ship it because I want to, you know, want to have my car here because I don't like, you know, renting cars or getting tours or whatever. It's cheaper. It's cheaper. It's much cheaper to ship it. It's cheaper for me to ship it than for me to rent one here. Yo, we hear that like a thousand a day. Uh, to rent a six hundred LT is two thousand dollars a day. Really? So, for two thousand dollars, I can ship my car here and back. Yeah. Or I can pay two thousand dollars a day to rent one, and I'm like, number one, mine's faster. It was spec the way that I wanted. But and when you ship it, doesn't make miles on it. They ship it on the truck. Yeah, they put it on the trailer. So they put it in the back of the trailer, ship it off, and then when I get here, they drop it off to me wherever I'm at. Okay. You don't need a problem to speak in like a little He does it every day. No, but it was natural for you? Like, how does it start? It? Like, for me, if I speak in front of like 10 people that I don't know, I just feel so embarrassed. I was real shy. Yeah. It I just, was. the more you do it, the better you get. Yeah, the, more, yeah. the more you do it, the better you get. Like eventually you just get to the point where you don't care. Because people are going to say whatever they say. Like people, you know, they, they talk shit on me all the time on the internet. Like, all these guys are fake or he's this or he's renting his car. I'm like, well, I own all my cars. I know this. I know how much money I make or don't make. You don't know anything. I'm like, I don't owe you guys an explanation. Like, I'll explain it to you just to make you feel better or to troll you. I usually troll people. The ones that come on and they say negative things. I'm like, you know, I didn't even know you existed. I was like, how does it feel to be one of the poorest? And then I'll go back to my, you know, to my dad. I'm like, don't, don't be stupid. Like, I'm, I'm here actively giving you free information so you can make money and you want to be a dick. So... But how do you start it with what? So, uh, I started e-commerce about, I don't know, like 10 years ago. What? E-commerce? E-commerce. -e so, like, selling... E selling stuff. Well, no, just e-commerce. Selling stuff on, on the internet. Well, found out that they own a balloon business and, like, cater or something like that. And they're doing very, you know, very, very well for themselves. Uh, you know, their business is booming. Uh, it's so booming, in fact, that one of their clients hired models to wear umbrella hats with pretzels hanging off them. Now, if you guys know anything about parties, generally, if you have some type of stupid idea like that, I'm sorry, not stupid, creative idea like that, it's gonna cost your ass a lot of money to have some models come in, wear umbrella hats with pretzels dangling from them. Like, think about that for a second. How much money you must have in order to pay somebody to do that buffoonery? I'm gonna sign the checks very wrong. Yeah, you're gonna sign the checks very wrong. The checks ain't, they're not gonna go out right away. You know what you need to sign the checks at that point? All you have to do is just um, get cookbooks and send out your paychecks that way. Well, you're not gonna go to the first, you're not gonna go to the first. You're the first, you're the first. Cookbooks, I love cookbooks. That's how I do it. My entire life. Ever. It's my life. So they're doing pretty well. I mean, she was rocking the, the Rolex. You know, I couldn't really see, you know, what model it was. You know, so I might have to deep dive, but she did pretty well. So yeah, overall, it was, it was pretty productive. Minus, you know, the whole smoking thing, which was just super disgusting. Like cigarettes and just, you know, but I mean, they're, they're foreign, so I, maybe they just have different health, you know, information over there, but I'm pretty sure smoking pretty much kills you these days. But what do I know? I'm not a doctor. I just know that smoking cigarettes causes cancer and makes you look old before your time and gives you funky teeth. And nobody wants funky teeth. Billing head as the most astonished and interesting curiosity in the world, Barnum 
put her on display in New York and took her on a small tour of New England. Visitors lined up to gawk at her withered body and hear her tales of dear little George, and Barnum helped fuel popular interest by spreading a rumor that she was actually an autom like automaton controlled me? by Vent. Blended ice, me? Yeah. My back is okay. It's not, not terrible. I'm feeling pretty good. Kind of wired. I'm hungry. Uh, hungry now, but I gotta send off stuff for the clients, got some of this contract and all that stuff, so I got business to handle because I didn't really get a lot of business done today. I was just answering DMs and emails from you guys, you lovely people, because you guys were commenting a lot about him. And, uh, the last, not the last video, but the video that I dropped today, which was about changes in, um, coming with Amazon dropshipping in 2021. So uh, yeah, you guys asked a ton of questions about those things, and so I was trying to answer all those and help you guys out. Because you guys know I love helping you out so you can go make some money. So that way you can come to Miami and see Dax and get your whole back tattooed or a front piece or legs or sleeves or, you know, throat if you're a badass, you know, like I'm going to be. But we'll see. So at any rate, man, you know, I will catch you guys uh, on the next day, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow because we have to get the shit done. So yeah, don't, don't go all crazy and don't get in trouble before that. Don't get a DUI because of that. And don't start smoking cigarettes, because it's gross, it's disgusting, it's trashy. And we're not trashy on this channel. But I am sure, so that's kind of like tragedy. Whatever, nobody cares. Check you guys. The truth about Heath didn't emerge until after her death in 1936, during a public autopsy staged by Barnum. At the price of 50 cents for admission, it was revealed that she was most likely no older than 80. What? So he basically... It makes it sound like it wasn't even about, like, he displayed a lady that was a slave for George Washington, and it wasn't even actually her. She wasn't 161. She wasn't older than 80. And, uh, I don't even understand how to think about that one. A famous hoax?